On October 29, 2018, passengers on Lion Air Flight 610, ready for routine trips and personal journeys, settled into their seats, not knowing that this ordinary flight from Jakarta, Indonesia, would soon turn into a disaster. On board were people traveling for work, families excited for vacations, and folks heading home. As the Boeing 737 MAX 8 climbed into the morning sky, everything seemed normal, with passengers chatting, thinking, or just looking forward to arriving. But just minutes after takeoff, something went terribly wrong. In the cockpit, veteran pilots faced an unexpected and terrifying problem. Their new, high-tech plane was diving down uncontrollably. They tried desperately to figure out and stop whatever was causing the plane to plunge, feeling the growing panic of the passengers behind them. In those critical moments, with the plane repeatedly climbing and then diving rapidly, everyone on board was united in a battle against a hidden enemy. This crisis, unknown to them, was caused by a deadly mix of a software failure and greed. Sadly, despite their best efforts, the flight crashed into the Java Sea, claiming 189 lives instantly and leaving a haunting question. How could a modern airliner just fall from the sky like that? Tragically, the same nightmare happened again on March 10th, 2019, with Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. Leaving Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, with 157 people on board, this plane met the same fate, overcome by the same unseen force that doomed the earlier flight. After these disasters, the world demanded answers. This is the story of the Boeing 737 MAX, a story about the dangers of how corporate greed can lead to disaster. The creation of the Boeing. 737 MAX was a direct response to a major shift in the aviation industry initiated by Airbus's launch of the A320 NEO. The A320neo, which stands for New Engine Option, was a significant update of Airbus's well-known A320 aircraft. Its main advantage was the new engines, specifically the CFME International Leap 1A, which offered about 15% better fuel efficiency, translating to major cost savings for airlines. Another key aspect of the A320neo was its ease of transition for pilots. Despite its advanced features, Airbus designed the A320neo to operate very similarly to its older A320 models. This meant that pilots already trained on the A320 didn't need extensive additional training to fly the Neo version. This was a big plus for airlines, saving them money and time in training pilots. With these improvements, the A320neo quickly became a preferred choice for airlines, posing a serious challenge to Boeing's market share in this competitive segment. Boeing had to act fast to keep up. Their strategy was to develop an aircraft that could compete with the A320neo while also maintaining the design and operational familiarity of their existing 737 fleet. This led to the birth of the 737 MAX, a decision that would deeply influence Boeing's future. Boeing's approach to countering the A320neo's advancements led to a critical design decision that would have far-reaching consequences. The primary challenge was integrating larger, more efficient Leap 1A engines onto the aircraft without a complete overhaul of the aircraft's structure. The traditional design of the 737 series featured a lower ground clearance, which was insufficient for the new, bigger engines. A logical solution should have been to redesign the landing gear to elevate the aircraft further off the ground. However, such a significant structural change would not only have been time intensive, but would also require new pilot certifications and extensive testing, delaying the aircraft's entry into the market. To get around these challenges, Boeing opted for a compromise. Engineers decided to reposition the engines forward and slightly higher on the wing than in previous 737 models. This adjustment allowed the larger engines to fit while maintaining the aircraft's original ground clearance. On the surface, this seemed like an ingenious solution, maintaining the 737's established design while upgrading its performance. However, this fix led to an unexpected issue. Moving the engines changed the airflow over the wings, especially during takeoffs at high angles. This increased the risk of the plane stalling, a situation where the wings lose the ability to lift because the angle against the incoming air is too steep. This change in the plane's aerodynamics due to the repositioned engines was a disaster as it introduced a new major safety concern. 
Boeing had to tackle this new risk of stalling without making major changes to the 737 MAX that would affect its appeal, and any major changes would require extensive retraining for pilots. Boeing had to come up with a solution quickly as development was already delayed and behind schedule. Just as Boeing faced unexpected challenges with the 737 MAX and had to find innovative solutions without starting from scratch, many of us encounter unforeseen issues when planning our travels. Whether it's a sudden illness, a flight cancellation, or an emergency that requires you to return home, travel can be unpredictable. Imagine you've planned the trip of a lifetime or a crucial business meeting abroad, and suddenly things go awry. A medical emergency, lost luggage, or a natural disaster can turn your dream vacation into a nightmare. The uncertainty and financial loss can be overwhelming, leaving you stranded and stressed in an unfamiliar place. The problem is real, and it sucks to be left vulnerable when you're supposed to be exploring or making important deals. Enter TravelInsurance.com, your solution to the unpredictability of travel. TravelInsurance.com offers peace of mind by covering unexpected medical emergencies, trip cancellations, and lost luggage, allowing you to fully enjoy your journey without the worry. With 24-7 support, you're assured round-the-clock assistance no matter where you are in the world. The platform's easy comparison feature lets you quickly find the best fit for your trip from top travel insurance providers. Its convenient online purchase process offers instant coverage, even for last-minute trips, and customizable plans ensure your coverage meets your specific travel needs, making your travel experience worry-free and financially secure. So are you ready to safeguard your travels? Click the link in the description or pinned comment to find the perfect travel insurance plan for your next journey. Don't let those unexpected events turn your travel plans upside down. Get covered today. To tackle the stalling issue, Boeing used a software solution to the problem called the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, known as MCAS. It was programmed to automatically adjust the plane's nose down if it sensed a high risk of stalling. As the project was already over cost and running behind, Boeing decided to outsource important parts of the aircraft's software, including the MCAS system. They hired engineers from countries like India, where labor is cheaper than in the US. Boeing hired firms like HCL Technologies, Limited, and Seant Limited, which were known for basic web services. These companies lacked deep expertise in aerospace engineering and paid their engineers the equivalent of $9 an hour. This decision to outsource sparked concerns internally. One key worry was whether these engineers had the deep aerospace knowledge needed for such critical software tasks. This work required more than just coding skills. It was about understanding how software interacts with complex flight systems. Outsourcing vital parts of MCAS led to doubts about the engineer's ability to grasp and tackle the complexity and safety requirements of the job. MCAS didn't only have the problem with the concerns with the quality of the engineers working on the software. It also had a major and ultimately fatal flaw with the hardware as it just relied on just one angle of attack sensor. This sensor is crucial for measuring the plane's angle against the airflow a key factor in detecting stall risks. Normally, aviation safety requires redundancy in vital systems for ensured reliability and safety. However, MCAS was designed differently, depending on data from only one AOA sensor. This single source reliance was highly risky. If that one AOA sensor failed or gave wrong data, MCAS would act on this incorrect information. As a result, the system might wrongly think the plane was stalling and push the nose down consistently. During the testing and approval phase of the Boeing 737 MAX, leaked messages from within the company show a troubling attempt to dodge regulations and cut corners. A Boeing pilot in 2016 harshly criticized the aircraft's design, saying, This airplane is designed by clowns, who in turn are supervised by monkeys. These messages, which Boeing had to share publicly, shed light on the problematic culture around the development of the aircraft. Among these issues was Boeing staff's effort to sway regulators and skip additional training for the MAX. Mark Forkner, the plane's former chief technical pilot, famously bragged about tricking regulators with Jedi mind tricks. Forkner's messages reveal he misled regulators about the MCAS system, saying, I just Jedi mind tricked these fools. He also pushed against simulator training for pilots, preferring a simpler computer-based course. In a 2017 email, he boasted, Looks like my Jedi mind trick worked again. 
This behavior was part of Boeing's larger plan to get the MAX into the market quickly, avoiding the need for extensive pilot retraining. These communications not only show a concerning company culture at Boeing, but also how far some were willing to go to bypass safety to stay ahead in the market. Avoiding simulator training, despite knowing the risks and complexities of the MCAS system, points to a broader issue of neglect. This is also highlighted in a 2013 conversation where an employee stated in an internal memo, if we emphasize MCAS as a new function, there may be greater certification and training impact. As the Jedi mind tricks worked and the Boeing 737 MAX received its certifications to fly, pilots were now trained with the limited training materials and were unaware of the new MCAS system in place. This leads us to the tragic incidents involving Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. For Lion Air Flight 610, just after taking off from Jakarta on October 29, 2018, the pilots were puzzled by the plane's sudden and uncontrollable nosedives. The MCAS, reacting to false data from a faulty sensor, didn't relent. Despite the pilots' efforts, the plane crashed into the Java Sea, taking 189 lives. For Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, a similar horror happened on March 10, 2019, after taking off from Addis Ababa. The MCAS, again misled by incorrect sensor data, forced the plane downward multiple times. The pilot struggled but couldn't regain control, leading to a crash that killed all 157 on board. These crashes shocked the world and spotlighted major issues with the MAX, especially with the MCAS software. Investigations revealed overlooked safety measures, insufficient training on the MCAS for pilots, and decisions compromised by the rush to compete and cut costs. The global aviation community reacted by grounding all 737 MAX planes. This led to intense scrutiny on Boeing, with regulatory, legal, and public trust challenges. After the crashes, Boeing's reputation suffered greatly, leading to legal problems and financial losses. In early 2021, Boeing agreed to pay $2.5 billion in a settlement with the U.S. Department of Justice. This agreement highlighted the serious errors Boeing made during the MAX's approval process, especially their misleading information about the MCAS. This settlement had a massive financial impact on Boeing, covering penalties for their actions, compensating airlines affected by the MAX being grounded, and providing money to the families of those who died in the crashes. But the cost didn't stop there. Boeing also had to stop the 737 MAX production, fix the MCAS system, and overcome the technical and regulatory challenges to make the MAX safe to fly again. Boeing still has been facing quality issues. For example, a door came off an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9 during a flight because Boeing didn't tighten some bolts properly. And a Boeing 757 flown by Delta Airlines lost its nose wheel taxing to the runway. These problems show there is a broader cultural issue with how Boeing produces its planes. A Boeing employee summed up what causes these issues in a memo from June 1, 2018. They said, I don't know how to fix these things. It's systematic. It's culture. It's the fact that we have a senior leadership team that understands very little about the business and yet are driving us to certain objectives. It's lots of individual groups that aren't working closely and being accountable. It exemplifies the lazy bee. As this lazy bee culture persists, it looks like Boeing will continue to place profits over lives and hasn't learned a thing from the 737 MAX crashes.